Ever since the dawn of humanity, people have been fascinated by looking at the night sky. The way that we've learned about space and stars is either to point telescopes up into the universe and take pictures, or to actually send people or satellites out to other planets. But now, we actually have a third way of learning about the universe, and this way is called gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in space itself that are sent out when very large objects move in the universe, like two black holes merging. They spiral together like this, eventually hit and explode in a massive emission of energy. Gravitational waves were predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity 100 years ago, and we finally were able to detect them. The next 10 to 20 years, we're going to answer questions like, how do black holes form? What are neutron stars made of? And eventually, we'll even be able to look further back in time than we've ever done before. All the way through undergraduate and graduate school, actually. I had no female professors in math or physics. So I co-founded a chapter of Women in Science and Engineering to focus on building community and mentoring relationships amongst the female graduate students in STEM. The L'Oreal USA for Women in Science Fellowship will help advance my research by giving me the time to complete projects and to complete mentoring students through their entire degree path. For me, science is about satisfying human curiosity. It's really about continuing to explore and discover, which I think is fundamental to what makes us human.